Hello everyone and welcome to another League of Legends guide, I'm gonna be your host Vikings and today as requested we're gonna talk about farming. Now farming is extremely important in League of Legends in my opinion, I'm obviously far from being one of the best, I have a pretty decent farm, I usually get around 200 CS by the 40 minute mark depending on how the game goes, what exactly happens. And here is the thing, there is no magic formula or tip or whatever that is gonna change your f uh, farm game. The only thing that really helps is practice. So here's what you need to do, the very first thing that you need to do if you're having problem farming, stop playing, go into custom games and uh, play custom games by yourself, just you and the creeps and stay there for as long as it takes. Take the champion that you're having troubles with or if it's a global thing then take multiple champions just and try to get it down. This is what I actually did in the beginning, I uh, when I had drums with keeping my creep score up, went to custom game and I stayed there 4 days, 14 hour days, uh, 4 days trick and I got it done. So it doesn't matter how much it takes, just go, if it takes a day, stay a day, if it takes 2, stay 2, if it takes a week, stay a week and get it done. Once you have your farming down by yourself, then get yourself a friend if you're in a solo lane or get yourself two free friends if you're in a duo bot lane and start practicing to keep your farm up, as I missed that creep, great, while having to deal with your opponent, that's gonna be the real challenge. And again, take as long as you need, it's no shame, some people get it faster than others and once you get that then you're really ready to play. Now some of you may think, why am I here? Why should you put so much uh, time into this and why is it so important? Why do I act like it's the most important thing in the world? Well, those of you that think that, all I have to say is wake up, dudes. It's not easy to farm while you're commentating now, I actually realize. There we go. Uh, wake up, get a reality check. Farming is extremely important in League of Legends, as most of you may know. This is not Smite or Han or Dota 2 or whatever. And to give you an idea of just how important it is, a kill, and I'm talking about a normal kill, not first blood or killing streak or anything, a kill is just about 15 to 20 CS, depending on whether or not you get a siege minion in there, maybe a, a one of those camp mobs, so that's all a kill is worth, about 15 to 20 CS. Um, this brings me also to winning your lane, a lot of people don't actually understand what winning your lane means, they think you have to go 3-0 or completely destroy your opponent, keep him out of the lane, whatever, and that means that you won your lane. No, it's not that. You can actually be uh, behind in kills, you know, a kill or two behind. If you get out of the lane with double the creep score of the other guy, then you've won your lane. That's all it takes. You're gonna have more items than him, you're gonna be more impactful in the team fights than him. So, that's what you need to do, just practice a lot. Now, there are a few things that can help you. The magic number that you wanna get to level 1 is at least 60 AD. So pretty much no matter what champion you play with, you're gonna wanna get 60 AD at level 1. This is really gonna help you with uh, your farming and last hitting. Now, uh, this doesn't... Obviously for ADC you have quite a few options, you know, runes and masteries, you can get Doran's Blade start, I know a few people still like to start um, Boots and Free Potions, so uh, a few uh, attack damage quints could really help them. But yeah, that's basically the number that you want to have. And this also works for other champions. This is one of the reasons why you've recently seen in LCS, uh, in the European LCS, at least I haven't watched the North American one. You've seen people play any mid with, and starting Doran's Blade. This works very well on certain mid champions that can uh, keep the opponent at bay, that have either some stuns or very high burst potential and can keep the. Uh, the opponent to the distance, it's really gonna help you, don't have to waste all that mana and it's gonna make uh, your last hitting easier. Now for example Annie, all you have to do is charge up your stun and most people won't come near you while your stun is charged and you just leave it like that and then all you have to do is last hit and you can even harass like that and you're gonna get a little bit of health back, some sustainability. And most people will just wait up for you to burn that stun, then come in uh, to try and uh, kill you or hurt you. 
Uh, this also works with Twisted Fate fairly well, I found out. The same thing. Most people won't come near you while you shuffle your cards. You don't have to pull a gold one right out of bed. Just shuffling, most people won't come near you because they're afraid you're gonna pull off a gold one and stun them. So you can just shuffle, far more shuffling, and just when it's about to expire, pull off the blue card, throw a Q, hopefully hit the guy, then throw the blue card in the minion, you got your mana back, and that's it. And safe farm. Um, Nidalee, again, really benefits from this. And like I said, it doesn't need to be a Doran Blade, just take some uh, masteries, you know, if you're going for a 21 offense build, getting all the attack damage, ma uh, ability power masteries in offense, then put uh, a few points into attack damage per level as well. That's really gonna help you. And last thing that we can uh, talk about, like I said, the reason I really much to say about this is just practicing, is how you actually attack the mobs. And this is, I'm talking about normal text, not spelled, which you're obviously gonna wanna use later on to just clear waves fast. Well, there are basically two ways and it comes down to preference. Uh, people like me, for example, I like to just hit with the mouse, okay? Right click and just take my minion down. The other option you have, and some people prefer it, they think it's more accurate and stuff, or at least it feels like that for them, I don't know, is to use the A key. And as you can see, the cursor returns red, and just click it, left click it on a minion, and then it's gonna attack it. So you can just sit back, chill, wait for the... Uh, I think I'm gonna miss... there we go. Wait for the health to go down on a minion, which are A ready, and when it's down enough, then just go and attack it. One attack, there we go. So again, try both of them, see what works for you, I just like to right click and help is at the appropriate level. You're gonna get an eye for this after you do those full uh, practice uh, days that I talked about. And just see which one you prefer and which one works best for you. So that's uh, pretty much it guys, that's all I really have to say about farming right now. If I get any more insight into it, I may come on later with a second guide for it. But for now, all I want to do is wish you good luck, practicing, get your farm down, because it really is one of the most important things in League of Legends. So thank you for watching my video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me your thoughts and questions in the comments below, and until next time, you go and have yourselves an awesome day guys.